Harvey Danger, Danger, Flagpole Sitter. It's 90s at noon on K Rock. I love saying it. My name is Lewis. I am your host for this great show. We're going to be doing this every Saturday, noon, 1 p.m. You got to be here. All this great rock music. Before Harvey Danger, we played Marilyn Manson. Oh, the beautiful people. You remember that one? Oh, this is going to be so much fun. If you're too young to remember some of this music, you're going to get a lesson, man, because we got some great, 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 great rock. I won't say classics because we're still just in the 90s. It's not too far along, but you're just going to enjoy this a lot. Trust me. We're doing it every week. Stick around. You're going to hear some great music. We're going to do Radiohead Incubus right now. E6, Inside Out, 90s at Noon is on k -Rock. I would swallow my pride, I would choke on the rhymes, but the left... The great, great 1995 album, The Bends. That's Radiohead. Fake Plastic Trees, probably one of my favorite songs of all time. On 90s at noon, it's K-Rock. And let's just go back a little bit. We started the hour with the beautiful people, of course, Marilyn Manson. The great 1996 album, Antichrist Superstar. That was the first single off of that. I mean, come on. That, that album was just unbelievable. It was scary as crap when it first came out, in my opinion. I just remember hearing all these strange sounds and all the songs. I was like, what is this? But you become fascinated by it. And it was just like unbelievable. We also played Incubus, Pardon Me. That was the song that put them on the map. They had other albums before, Make Yourself, but that was late 1999. And that's what got them all started when it, you know, when it comes to being popular. And of course, we just played Radiohead. This is going to be so much fun. My name is Lewis. You're listening to 90s at Noon. Coming up next, 1992, we're going to go back to Stone Temple Pilots. You know the album, the definitive album, Core. This song that we're going to play was not a huge hit, but we play it now because it's just so unbelievable. Dead and Bloated's up next on K-Rock.